What's up guys, this is my first ever YouTube video and today I'm going to be talking about the R93T2 which was released in Crossfire Philippines back in June. So by now I guess most of you are already familiar with this sniper rifle. Just to clear things up, in this video I won't just be doing the weapon review of the R93 but I'm also going to discuss about the secondary weapons that go well with it as well as strategies Basically, I'm making these compilations into a whole package. So first off, I'm more inclined to the uh, stealthy approach when I'm confronting my enemies as it gives me a higher chance of winning. For those of you who don't already know, trash talking is very rampant in online FPS games here in the Philippines. So if you're the last man standing in your team and you lose, chances are your teammates are definitely yeah, definitely gonna swear at you. So as much as possible, I want to avoid that and, you know, just wipe out everyone in the opposing team. So finally, the R93 weapon review. The strengths of the R93. Think of an M700 with one-shot capabilities. The draw speed is fast and the fire rate is faster than that of the AWM. So you can take out multiple targets really fast as long as you take your shots carefully. So yeah, that's the first guy that I take out then followed by the second and finally the third one. Um, the only weakness that I see of the R93S at the moment is the fact that it only has 4 rounds per clip. That means you have to reload the gun very often but the reload speed is quite fast so yeah, you just have to find a spot to cover and then you can quickly return to the battle. Okay, some more info about the R93. It can be obtained in the item shop for 49k GP and is available for all ranks. Personally, I'm quite satisfied with this gun since I don't play Crossfire that often these days, so I probably will never reach the rank requirement for the AWM, so this is a good alternative for it. It gives low rank players a chance to own in the game, I guess. So, back to the gameplay. If you've noticed, a common strategy that I'm using is just to maintain a defensive spot that's close to the bomb site. So, this is the sub base gameplay that I mentioned to you guys in the forums a couple of weeks ago. And uh, I tried to knife someone here, but yeah, I failed. Luckily, I was able to still kill him with a melee weapon. Um, one of the strengths of the R93 is the fact that it's lighter than most of the sniper rifles, so it's easier to move away from people who attempt to stab you, like the one you saw a while ago. No scopes, like most of the sniper rifles, are still random. Um, you see that shot right there? It's so unrealistic that the bullet strayed so far away from where I pointed my crosshair sat. As a general advice, sometimes you also have to put yourself in the enemy's shoes so you can predict the routes they're gonna take. Uh, take this for example. All I did here was well, defending B site. So once I take these guys out, their corpse is marked by an X in the opponent's map, and this generally gets their attention. So they head towards B to find me. Uh, with that in mind, all I have to do is find an advantageous spot, and I can take them out one by one. So I guess that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Blood alone won't bring you light The darkness falls, the curtains rise But you and I just can't survive Like broken glass, I see through you I can't believe the things that you do With open eyes, we can't be for But now I see through closing doors Watch what you wish for, you know you just might get it
that you daybreak You taught me well, so I learned Most of us get what we deserve Give me your heart of rusty nails And now you ask why I am 